My name is Story Squires. I'm 62 years old. Today's date is February 22nd, 2023. We're at Providence, Mount St. Vincent, and relationship is that we're co-workers and friends. My name is Kim Fuda. I am soon to be 60 years old in a, about <laughs> a month. Today's date is February 22nd, 2023. We are at Providence, Mount St. Vincent in West Seattle. And the relationship to the interviewer is a friend and she is the head volunteer. Your grandmother was a resident here when I first came to the Mount. I have strong memories of her and caring for her. She was the person that told me how to say good night in an Italian. <laughs> Who among your family have lived here? The first person among my family to live here was my grandmother, Mary Madonna. She lived here for a total of 20 years. Wow. She was in the apartment side first mm -hmm. for about nine and a half to 10 years, give or take. And then it was time to move her on to the other side, into mm -hmm. the nursing home part. They took such good care of her. Um, she lived for about another 10 years. She was six days shy of 99. Next one to live here was my father, Felix Fuda. He lived here the last seven months of his life. My boss that I currently work for had a hat made for my dad. The hat said, feisty grandpa. And then to become a volunteer here, I felt like I was at home. Mm. When my grandma lived here, there were a lot of residents that did not get any visitors. Mm -hmm. And when I would come, there was this one particular lady. She was... 103. Now she was very capable of walking on her own, feeding herself. But when she saw my mom feeding my grandmother, cause my grandma could not feed herself. Mm -hmm. She wanted me to feed her. I would sit there and feed her every time I come. It was just so special. That's a very intimate act to help somebody eat. It's pretty profound, very loving. What did your father like about living here? What did he like to do other, be, <laughs> other than be feisty? <laughs> He was only here seven months. Right. It took him four or five to just adjust and know he was not coming back home. Knowing that you did as much as you could for your father, when he died, do you think that that influenced how you experienced grief? I don't really know if I've really done the full grieving yet. I know I didn't grieve after my mom died uh -huh. simply because I stepped right in and took care of my dad. And he lived six years longer after my mom died. I don't know if I've really totally grieved yet. I know how long it's been. You know, sometimes I'll go pick up the phone and because I used to talk to my mom every yeah. single day. It's just a habit. Yeah. And sometimes I think, oh, I got to come up here and see my dad. And then I'm like, what am I doing? I think that's normal. Yeah. Really appreciate this. Yeah, no and problem. Uh... Anything I can do, just call me. If, if I can do it, I'll be here. Mm -hmm.